Hey, Radio Family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ Family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today. If it's trending, it's here now. now. This now. is Now Trending now. with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. Now. 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 <laughs> trending. Now. <laughs> trending now. <laughs> right now, <laughs> the uh, top trending topic is hashtag Fallout on Prime. That's a new Amazon Prime show based on a video game series called Fallout. Really good. It's my brother's favorite video game. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, high reviews for it. But I feel like anything now that's based on a video game, it's going to get high reviews. What's your brother? 45, 42, he something is like 40 that. 42. <laughs> <Two>, yeah. Walton <laughs> Goggins is in it, TJ. You should check it out. Yeah, well, as much as I like his acting, <laughs> um, you know, there are certain things that that just that won't cover. He you plays a the, ghoul. You got to draw the line somewhere. Yeah, is that isn't he in a superhero movie too? The Iron Man or something? I don't think he has been yet. Oh, I don't, I, think, I, I don't think so. Maybe maybe he was. Let me check. Yeah, yeah Walt. How do you say it? Walter? Walton Goggins. Walton. He played Walton. Baby Billy on um, The Righteous Gemstones. He played um, on Justified and The Shield. And he's he's a great actor. One of the best, yeah. for sure. Absolutely yeah. great. And he's Southern. Is he? Yeah. yeah. He's, so he's trending right now as well. Mm. Oh, really? People seem to like his... Uh, performance in this show well I, whatever he does he does it great really yeah yeah tj he plays the ghoul in fallout sounds like it's right up your alley yeah man <laughs> <laughs> but hey he can do anything now he can be like serious and dramatic or he can be funny teeth like crazy oh he does, he does have a lot of teeth yeah Woo. it's like the uh, i'm assuming they're veneers because they look like a tile floor Right. <laughs> Big and bold. Uh, something else TJ might be into today, the, the Masters begin today. But oh, yeah. if you've looked at the weather, I know Louisiana is getting hit hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it, this storm is expected to go up the East Coast, which is where the Masters happen. They've even it's delayed allowing fans in this morning. They've already made that announcement. And they, they say it's iffy to get this first round in today. Uh, my brother lives in Atlanta, and he was saying, you know, they've got their own weather system in that town. So it's, like, different. <laughs> like, well, it's a big storm. It's like, you know, multi, multi-state storms. So I don't know if they're going to be spared yeah. this time. They don't have anything and, to keep. Keeps the weather from coming over the golf course. I don't think so. I don't and you know, my sweet Aunt Tina that I talk about all the time. Yeah. Um, she posted on her social medias a picture of the um, of the electrical uh, guys out there, the linemen, they call them. And she yep. said, thank God for these linemen. And what a beautiful flag. Because they had an American flag hanging off yeah. of their truck and all that. So she's just up watching. Thank God for them. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank yeah. God for them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're doing the Lord's work. Uh, and then uh, early reviews are in from this Michael Jackson biopic. Uh, they showed uh, the first trailer at CinemaCon. Standing ovation minutes long. They said he's in this movie. It's going to be really long. And they're going to cover 30 Michael Jackson songs. Now, Michael is played by his nephew, and if you've seen the pictures, looks just like him. It looks I mean, a lot like him. Yeah. It's bizarre how closely they uh, resemble yeah. each other. But um, yeah, so people are excited. Would you guys go see a, a three hour Michael Jackson biopic? No. Wow. no. Would three you go hours. see a two hour Michael Jackson biopic? Uh, I don't know if I would go see it. Right. I would watch it, but I don't know if I'd go see it. If they brought it into your home. Yeah, if yeah. it's streaming, streaming I would it. watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but those are just a few things that are now trending. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitron. We're here with our friend Richard Takato of the Richard Takato Companies, and he's ready to save you some money, get you some money with an instant 
equity line of credit. How does that work, Richard? Best product ever. Oh, we, we take a little bit of your information. Uh, we find out if you get an offer or not. If you get an offer, you can decide what you want to do. Get your money four days later. Pay off credit cards. Do home improvements. I've done it. Yeah. It's super simple. And again, start to finish, four days, you get your money. Homewithrichard.com is where you get the process started. It's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Ace, hey, when I showed up to work this morning, you were leaving. You yeah, were I, was running to, I was running to the store. Oh, I said, well, he's got to... It's got to come back to work at some point. <laughs> yeah, I got here and then I had to, I recorded every, uh, stuff for about an hour and then I left to go to work because I was running behind this morning. I didn't have time to stop at the store on the way. What do you, and what did you get at the store? Energy drink. Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> the, the huge key to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got a little, I guess I need a little energy drink this morning. <laughs> yeah. I need to stop. I really need to stop. That's what they, that's what they all say. I know, it's right. It's true. <laughs> it's <an> addiction. <clears throat> when you get in the car, one thing drives you crazier than oh, everything else. It happened to be two days ago. When when you pull when I pull the seatbelt across and it catches, it like it it, it, and it stops and sometimes it, sna it snatches out of my hand and it just it's all I, I cuss every time and I get ridiculously angry over it. I know that's like every time it happens I'm like you. And it's, I, <laughs> it's disproportionate the the reaction the, to the what's reaction actually is totally happened. disproportionate to what it is, but it it infuriates me. I don't know why. It's like it's yeah. like it's like you just the car, this inanimate object just played a joke on me and made me stupid. And I, that's what it is. I think that's what it is. <laughs> made me look like an it's idiot. Like you, I this the car just played a joke on me and yeah. I don't like it. Yeah, I can relate to that. Like when my dog sighs, uh, like like he's resting. Like I interpret that as I'm bored, and I get so mad. <laughs> like, what are you sighing about? And he does it uh, all the time when he like lays down and just go. <sighs> I'm like, you've got the life. I don't want to hear it. And I know it's probably not that. Yeah, he's maybe not saying he's, like I'm bored. Obviously. Maybe he's sighing because he's like, oh, so this is comfortable. so comfortable. Yeah, but I interpret it as yeah. I'm bored. And that, that's a Jody does that all the time. I mean, she in her I can't see her when she's working in in her little office there, but it doesn't have a door on it. It's a it was a dining room with the layout of the house, which turned it into an office. So I can hear her when she's in there. I hear two things. I hear the, the heater, the space <laughs> heater, year mm -hmm. round. All the time. And then her. <sighs> <sighs> that would drive me. What is she signing about? I don't know. I said, what's wrong? Nothing. Because like, you automatically think something's wrong. Absolutely. Yeah. Or they're irritated yeah. or something yeah. is off. It, Just distress. The, their experience yeah it's a, kind of annoying so but my re yeah. <laughs> you're handling it well when you just ask what's wrong yeah. and then they tell you nothing's wrong but i get angry and it's a ridiculous thing to get angry over. yeah but in your case the dog is probably just comfortable yeah well in your case the the seatbelt is probably a safety feature feature it's not a prank <laughs> no it's not it's a prank <laughs> your, there's no I reason, you your car is no not reason you. the seatbelt should be <laughs> catching like that i just for i just there, well there's, there's no, no excuse for it <laughs> it's not pranking you it certainly <laughs> not. is it's what it feels like my car just pranked me you're putting too much force it's on that pole yeah. You. yeah but maybe you can relate to those things when, when do you get disproportionately angry about something that happens to you maybe it doesn't happen often but it happens enough for you to recognize, like, I got way too mad when that happened. Yeah. What is it? At the Ace TJ Show on social media. We'll get your answers next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, they were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not... 100%, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. 
do yourself a favor. Get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. The Johnson Group has been cleaning some of Charlotte's most prestigious businesses since 1985. Family owned and operated. Learn more at acetj.com slash clean. It's first class cleaning with the Johnson Group. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Okay. So if you uh, love the Ace and TJ show, you can thank Richard Takato for that. Richard Takato is the man. He's a mortgage expert. He helps people refinance, buy homes, open home equity lines, all that great stuff. And it all starts with one short phone call with Richard. Or you can head over to homewithrichard.com. You're going to love that guy. That I promise you. Uh, so what makes you disproportionately angry? We've talked about it for a long time. Ace freaks out when that seatbelt catches in the car and you're trying to put it over yourself and it rips it out of his hand. He gets so mad. I'll give you another one, a visual that you might find even more entertaining. When we go somewhere on long drives, one of us often will sit in the back with the baby and we rotate. Yeah. So going to the beach, Amanda was driving for a minute. I was sitting in the back with the baby and in her car, the seatbelt will, will lock at some point and I don't know and I can't move and I can't I'm trying to lean forward to talk to the baby and I can't move and I ended up saying some very terrible things in front of the baby because I felt trapped by the seatbelt in the back of the car and I was just like Julius she was gone it's quite a distraction while someone's trying to drive yeah. Amanda was like what's going on I'm like stupid seatbelt and then she started laughing like this you have, you're insane you can't get her jacket off can't yeah. get her seatbelt off exactly so what is it for you? What's something that makes you disproportionately angry? We've got a lot of responses already about this. Um, Jessica said, I, something that makes me so angry, slow dripping water. I mean, I can't explain the intense anger I get. I think she just means like out of the faucet or yeah. Yeah. something just dripping. Now, I'll give you one. It, and we've talked about it on the show, TJ. I think you have. When that one single raindrop hits mm -hmm. you and it feels like, and if it hits you like right on your neck bone, like, and it goes down into your shirt or on the yeah. top of your ear. Sometimes Another it feels one. like somebody threw that raindrop at you. Like it's, it's like a bucket <laughs> of water. Another one is if I'm in the shower, I turn the shower off and I'm drying off and the shower head leaks one drop back down onto yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. That drives me nuts. It's so. the worst. <laughs> uh, there's a lady on our Facebook page has a great one. Felicia said, when you see a box of something in the pantry and it's empty. Oh, that is like, annoying. Like the person who put it back knew they put it back empty. Yeah. Yeah. You see that box of cheese? It's you're like, oh, I want a couple of cheeses. And it's empty. You're just like, oh, what a tease that was. It's a confession time. I have an empty bag of tortilla chips that has been in my pantry for maybe a month because I was drunk one night and I was like, I'll just polish off these tortilla chips. And because I was drunk, I didn't put the bag in the garbage can, so I just put it back in the pantry. And every time I see it, I'm like, oh, there's. Tortilla chips. I'll have some chips and salsa. And it's empty. It's been empty. There's no chips in there. Um, for a month. Yeah, for a okay. long time. Uh, a lot of driving mistakes. People uh, people who pay with cash for the gas pump, they go inside and hold the line up. Got it. Um, when the perforated line on a package won't tear. Uh, we yeah. can all relate to That's that. That's mine. I, I, I created that one years ago. If you're going to be perforated, tear straight. on Tear the, straight, you're yeah. right. If you're going to be perforated. If you're going to make it perforated, <laughs> make it perforated. Absolutely. I like Brandy who said when her socks get wet. Yeah. If you're walking around, sucks. a wet sock is just. <sighs> yeah. Kelly said when I ask for ketchup in the drive-thru and they say, okay, I'll put it in the bag. And then I get the bag, but there's no ketchup. And I've already driven off. That is annoying. That's frustrating. Not getting your sauces. Um yeah, so there's a lot of these. If you have one at the Ace TJ show, uh, something happened yesterday. Uh, I was just trying to do the right thing, and me and my brother got into an explosive argument. I'll tell you oh. why coming up next. This is the Ace and TJ show. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato Company. You like that, don't you? Yeah. Well, it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, the instant equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move it. You can, if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different, it's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. 
Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in and taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Currents is Lake Norman's number one lifestyle magazine. Every month, Currents brings you the latest news on what's happening in the Lake Norman area. They've been serving the Lake Norman community for over 13 years. See the latest issue of Currents now at lncurrents.com. Live each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. So uh, I, I'm the youngest of three boys. My, I have two older brothers. One of them's um, three years older than I am, and the other one is five years older than I am. Five, almost six years older than me. And my oldest brother, uh, his name is Matt, he is a traveling salesman. He works in Georgia, Alabama, Florida, a little bit of South Carolina. And so he spends a lot of time in the car, which allows me to get some uh, phone time with him throughout the day. Uh, We're a family that communicates mostly by talking on the telephone. We're not uh, group texters like that. So uh, it's not unusual for him to call me a couple of times a week or vice versa. And yesterday I was uh, making a late lunch and he called me and uh, he's talking for about 30 seconds. And then all of a sudden I hear another voice and I said, what are you doing? He's like, I'm in the drive through I'm getting lunch too. <laughs> so, okay. And then he keeps talking and I keep hearing this voice and he's giving his order about a minute after he calls me. And I said, well, call me later. I- I'm eating lunch now too. Call me later. He goes, I'm in the drive through as if to say like, <laughs> what do you care who I'm talking to? I can carry on a conversation fine. And my reaction is, well, no, you can't because you're talking to the person at the drive-thru and I'm not going to sit here and listen to you make your order through the drive-thru. And now I'm going to have to listen to you at the window. (sighs) Yeah, you're you're right. That's rude. But he couldn't, he goes, I'm in the drive-thru. Like, what do you care? But that was annoying. So I called back later, you know, an hour later and he doesn't answer the phone. (laughs) (laughs) So now I'm irritated. So like, oh, I'm not going to let him off the hook for this. So I called him, I don't know, two more times. Finally got him on the phone. Doesn't acknowledge it. And then he just says, like, what are you playing now? <laughs> Talking about video games. So you're, then, you're 100% right. Isn't though. that rude? So you have to pause while he orders and listen to that. Yeah. Then you talk to him. Then when he gets to the window, it's even worse. because He has to talk to them several times then. Get, get the bag. Hang on a second. Get the bag. Blah, blah, blah. And he's the one that called me. Yeah. And I'm supposed to just like relax, like just take a beat. I'm going to finish doing my order here. It's like, well, call me once you get your food or something and then you go park. I'd be much happier to sit there and talk to you like that. I mean, it's fine. Not, it's not that big of a deal, but it just shows you like how much of a, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. If I'm on the phone with someone and they start talking to somebody else oh, and I don't care who it is, I would much rather you say, Hey, let me call you back. My kids are in here asking me some stuff and I need to, I need to find out what they want. Yeah. fine yeah. um or put me on like if you get another call you know when you do that how long do you wait until you just say they'll call me back later i give them like a minute maybe and maybe. then yeah but when somebody like my sister-in-law used to do that when her kids were little she'd be on the phone with jody and they would run up and start talking and she'd start yelling at them and go get your sister and, and jody i'd hear jody go hey are you talking to me or them i don't know who you're talking to yeah. call me back yeah, yeah it's annoying I, our business manager called me yesterday and put me on hold twice during the phone call. It was like a 10 minute phone call. Hey, can you hold real quick? No, they, and they never, they never really want your answer when they say, Hey, can you hold for a second? Yeah, They're already moving to put you on hold. Yeah. yeah. It twice. So rude. I got just dealt with rude people on the phone yesterday. Uh, we'll do now trending next. This is the Ace and TJ show. It's been a debate here for years. Does great furniture look good? Or does it feel good? Does it fit the style of the room good? Or does it sit good? Well, after years of debate and years of research, we've decided great furniture is good fitting and good sitting. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and get an Adirondack chair for just $279. In stock and ready to rock only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. 
Create an unforgettable experience with the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. Weddings, banquets, shows, expos, they do it all at the Cabarrus Arena. Learn more at CabarrusArena.com. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. It is National Pet Day. National Pet Day. So uh, people are posting pictures of their pets. There's some interesting pets here that I can't even identify. They're some sort of reptiles. And I feel like if it's outside of a dog, cat, hamster. Yeah. It doesn't really count as a pet. Is that what you're saying? You shouldn't have it. We're definitely dancing on the line there. Is it a pet? If you've got a five-foot iguana. And um, I don't consider um, fish to be pets. Is a fish fish a pet? No, because you can't pet them. Because you yeah. literally can't pet them. Yeah, it's just a fish. Although there is a contest today to uh, you can vote for the the funniest, whatever they call it, the wackiest pet name. But I hate that word. Some of these names are pretty cool though. There's a dog called Boots with the fur. Boots with the fur. Uh, a cat named Steph Purry. It's cute. That's a good name. Uh, and uh, a pig named uh, Snoop Hoggy Hog. <laughs> That's oh, not funny. God. It's not. I, I like that I one. Like that, one. <laughs> that was kind of fun. You gotta be Snoop yeah. Hoggy Hog. I think mm. Snoop Hoggy Hog is pretty good. <laughs> is a pig a pet? <laughs> yeah, you can pet yeah. a pig. Yeah, you can pet a pet a pig. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to do it heavily though, just so they'll feel it. Heavily pet that pig. Mm-hmm. And engage in heavy petting <laughs> of the pig. Uh, I, I read those uh, names this morning because they're all over the place. Yeah. And, and I, I thought, oh, that's Yankee humor. <laughs> yeah, but I like I like a witty pet name from time yeah. to time. Yeah. I do too, <laughs> but I didn't think any of those were. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. So, um, uh, the purry one is pretty. Yeah, cool. Steph, Steph Purry Steph is pretty good. Is pretty good. Mm. Uh, so this is interesting. Uh, you know, everybody knows that story. Morgan Wallen threw the chair off the sixth uh, roof, uh, the six story roof in that bar in Nashville. Chiefs is the name the of the Chief. bar. Yeah, it's, do church. you know who it's owned by? It's Eric owned by Eric Church. Eric Church. Oh, they said. Uh, Okay, maybe. The, okay, never mind. I'm gonna skip this story then. You can just edit this out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the story. Well, it's a ju- uh, well, never mind. We'll skip. It. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I misread the story then. Um, did everybody see this thing about Madonna? She's complaining yeah. about the air conditioning. The and she yeah. like flipped yeah. out and she was like, "I'm not gonna continue the show until people start respecting me." It's like I don't know if it's about respect. They probably just forgot to turn the air conditioning no, off. No, remember a huge we were concert. talking about that the other day when we were talking about Ricky Martin's situation. Maybe on my podcast, and I said Madonna was late, and they complained because it was hot in there. You remember? I, I said I think I remember it being hot. People were saying that, and there it is. Yeah, apparently she hates air conditioner. Yeah. Is it her air- it's mm-hmm. weird. It, you you want it hot when you have to sing like that. You want it hot. Yeah, stay out of the cold. Is that right? Yeah. Well, That's why you see most singers, if they tour during the winter, they'll keep their throats wrapped. Interesting. <laughs> but it's, it's legit. Factual. But it's, yeah. Winter conditions are different than an air conditioner. Though. But the air conditioner, like it'll dry out your throat. Yeah. That's why they don't use air conditioning in cars often. Well, well, you know, they told us that when Lenny Kravitz came and did our little showcase thing, and it was hot in that place, yeah. and everybody was sweating, and he came in complaining about the heat. And he said, I didn't say don't turn the air conditioner on. <laughs> well, Never said what that. is that about? The craziest video I've seen lately on social media is Lenny Kravitz. His workout? That's yeah. insane. No. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> shopping in a Bucky's. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I saw that one too. <laughs> weird. Uh, he's, Lenny the Kravitz was like, a, he's in a Bucky's in leather pants and a leather jacket looking cool as hell uh, with uh, taking pictures with everybody. That's got to be a weird thing. You're just <laughs> yeah. shopping. All of a sudden, Lenny Kravitz walks through. I'm trying to get some cheese puffs. There's Lenny <laughs> <Yeah>. Kravitz. <laughs> That's what's now trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Well, here we are, another new year, and you're, again, going to try to lose that weight you've been needing to lose for a long time. Well, here's what you need. You need Calitrin to help, because Calitrin is not a drug. No, not at all. It is natural and effective. It's scientifically proven to help you lose weight and get better sleep. When you buy three months supply of Calitrin, you will get three months free right now, and consistency is the key with Calitrin. So order it today at acetj.com slash weight loss. It's Calitrin. Meal delivery services are a big thing right now, but Table and Twine is your local meal delivery service. The meals are fresh, not frozen like national chains. Plus, their meals start at just $7.99 a serving. Take back that time in your day. Leave the shopping, preparation, and cooking 
to Table and Twine. Get details at tableandtwine.com. That's tableandtwine.com. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Nuh uh. Make sure you go to that Ace and TJ store. It's at acetj.com slash store. Get your merch. Um, you know, our designer clothing line is up there as well as the hot sauces. You can buy one bottle or you can buy the whole set of different flavors and all that. It's up to you. Uh, it's delicious. You don't want to miss out on that. acetj.com slash store. Uh, let me go back just a minute to uh, what we were talking about in the last segment. Um, uh, Lenny Kravitz, the um, the legendary musician, uh, at a Bucky's, and it being on the internet, so him taking pictures with people at Bucky's and all that. And um, Ace said he was wearing leather pants and they're looking cool as hell. <laughs> yep. I don't care who you are. You can be, I mean, Lenny Kravitz has got his theme, his style, and all that. If you're going into Bucky's dressed like that, you look like a freak. No. You look like a clown. He looked like a freak that's real damn cool. <laughs> Come on, that is not the appropriate Come outfit on. for a country store. Or any, that's not an appropriate are, outfit for the daytime maybe in public. Not. Well, maybe we don't not. going out in the daytime. We don't really know what time of day it was. We don't know what was we coming do. next. He might have had to get dressed. And just wanted to run in and grab a snack real quick because he was going to an appearance. <laughs> and he that's what he dresses into an appearance. But he's that cool. That no, he's he not. still looks super that's cool in Bucky's. That's my point. Nobody is that cool. Oh, to I be able to be wearing leather pants and a and a, a rock star outfit in the Bucky's. <laughs> I, I think that's all he wears. Because every time I see him he looks he looks like a rock star. Do you think he looks cool. as as cool as um Chris Angel? Oh, way cooler. Yeah. Way cooler mm. than Chris Angel. Yeah. Wasn't he wearing the same thing in that workout video we we tried, we thought Riggins was talking about a minute ago? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know he had leather pants. He on better not have been wearing leather no, pants in the gym. I swear he no, did. No, he did. Not. But he might as well. I don't see yeah. the difference. I I would think just as a weird uh, weirdly about someone if I saw him dressed in leather pants and a and a rock star outfit in Bucky's as I would if they're in the gym. Yeah, yeah. I just leather it off. pants in the gym. Yeah, he, he stepped off his butt. Lenny Kravitz steps off his bus. He's wearing like. Either dark brown or black leather pants, a leather jacket, and these brown suede boots looking <laughs> fly as you know what. Right. Fly. I, cool fly. as hell. I've he, confirmed it. He, he was looked, wearing leather pants. He's yeah. wearing leather pants yes. in the gym. And it looks like he's wearing a leather vest, too. In Working out. He's yes. on a decline bench yes. with a yeah. barbell. Is he wearing leather pants? And he's yes. doing sit-ups and decline press at the same time, which is yeah. crazy. Crazy cool. Um, <laughs> but he's wearing leather pants in the gym. Oh, yep. my God. He is wearing and a leather wow. vest yeah. and then some fancy boots. You're oh, right. Oh, my God. You're right, Rob. I did not catch that. He's wearing leather pants <laughs> in the gym. That's not cool. I but give you know what? He looks cool as hell. Oh, no. man. Oh, damn Chris Angel. Nope. I'm going to levitate over him. <laughs> nope. I'm going to go. Oh, Paul Stanley, the star child up there with his hairy chest not, and leather vest. Not cool wearing yeah. leather pants in the gym. I'll give you there's that There's no one. difference to me in the gym oh, and a... Bucky's. Yeah, or even wearing a leather pants and a and his rock star outfit, leather vest, or whatever he's doing, wearing that to to the grocery store or out to dinner or from a regular night, like to Applebee's. It's all the same. You don't. You look like a clown. You know, Lenny if Kravitz his name's not Lenny Apple. Kravitz, if he's just you know Joe Schmo, you'd be like, look at that clown. You would, but but mm -hmm. because he's Lenny Kravitz, you're like, that's cool. It works. Hey, it works we, for Lenny Kravitz. We, he's that we gotta cool. get you in a Bucky's with some leather pants on, Ace. Mm. I don't oh, do you like act like that hasn't happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Richard Takato with the Richard Takato Companies is here. And Richard, how can people save money every month when they're dealing with you in a refi? By paying off high interest rate credit cards. You know, sometimes it's better to have one payment than it is to have eight, nine, 10, 12 payments. So refinancing that first mortgage and getting all that cash out to pay off all your credit card makes a lot of sense it makes life much easier go to homewithrichard.com to start the process a lot of options with richard Ducato. don't miss this opportunity homewithrichard.com today every company is a technology company but becoming a fully enabled digital workplace is not easy that's why you have compucom to guide you a proven leader in managed it services they'll do more than just get you ready for today they'll get you ready for tomorrow go to compucom.com for details the 
available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Hey, what were some of the um, the uh, first social media challenges? You know, like planking and uh, um, the the ice bucket challenge. The ice bucket challenge was, was one, of the, one of the first huge ones. What was the yeah. one where you had to? The, like that, where you were running over the the, the stacked up crates. Oh, oh. crates! Terribly dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what I'm talking about is the ones that started very early were fun, and you know, just people would try them all the time. They get here's a picture of you planking. Here's you owling. You remember that one? Yeah. Where you sit up like an owl. Um, but then they just got worse and worse, and then we ended up with the milk crate challenge, where people it's just violent falls. I mean, just stupid, stupid. Yeah, loved them. Uh, and then now, there has um, there has been a challenge on the social medias. Because wait, then it was the Tide Pod challenge that was dangerous and all of that. Well, this one, I think it started in Brazil, uh, where young peoples is doing a they're doing a challenge to see how long they can stand in a bucket of ice and salt. And these kids have almost had to have their toes amputated oh, enough from Lord. frostbite because they're standing there in buckets of basically um, like you're making ice cream wow. with ice and, and then the salt keeps the ice from melting. So they're having uh, to have. They're seeing who can stay in it the longest, I think, is what, so what the thing is. Any idea how long they're going? No. Long enough to where they almost lost their toes. And they had to go seek medical attention. That's yeah. crazy. It's not even fun. It's no. not even like trying to yeah. jump over something. You're just standing in a bucket of wa- cold water. I don't think any of these are like fun challenges, are they? Is there? Uh, dude, watching the milk crate challenge was thrilling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Uh, I yeah, will watch but, hours of those videos. That was but, yeah. exciting. But you, you're talking about fun to do, Rob. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Not fun to watch. Right. Yeah, yeah it's fun did, to do. I did the gallon challenge with milk. I, didn't, I remember I did chocolate milk instead of regular milk because I'm stupid. So and that was not fun. Oh, the regular milk wouldn't have been stupid. <laughs> to drink a gallon of milk. I made it even more stupid, okay? <laughs> yeah, but we did that um that cinnamon challenge thing oh, before it was a social media deal. It was just yeah. like morning radio people were trying cuz yeah. we just heard about it. <laughs> we um our intern Hoss did it. Did you throw up yeah. with the the milk challenge, Rob? The most I've ever thrown up. Yes. How much did you get down? Uh, three quarters of it. Ugh. And you don't even like milk, do you? I like chocolate milk. That's, that's why, right. That's, that's right. Why you I went did with the it. chocolate milk. Yeah, I yeah. went with that one because it was it was easier for me to drink. <laughs> you know what I've learned this week? Speaking of milk, a less a little lesson I've learned. Yeah. Soy milk makes me really gassy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Soy milk. <laughs> I started making these smoothies in the morning. You know, with frozen fruit and and um, soy milk. Uh, and then that's when it all started. Yeah. And I'm guessing that the fruit doesn't do it. So it's I looked it up milk. and, you know, when you put in, does soy milk cause gas? And then sometimes it'll put up something and you go, here's an article. And it says soy milk contains it. This one just said, yes. Big bold left. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of it. <laughs> I'm cramping up. I'm like, oh, I got a, got a heating pad on. Oh yeah. It's bad business. <laughs> soy milk. But. Good news. I haven't done that this morning, so y'all are safe. Nice. Lesson learned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't gonna treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were gonna be able to effectively help my issue. And uh, never once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do you know the the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better if not a hundred percent. You know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. If you want all of the heating, air, and electrical work in your house done by the very best, then you need Bradham Brothers. 
They've been a family business thriving for over 50 years, and that means they're doing something right. Go to BradhamBrothers.com. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Now, yesterday was my wife's birthday. And um, she pretty much spent the day uh, bragging on herself. Okay. Like in a um, kind of like a, um, I don't know under um a, a, around around the way kind of um bragging on herself because she would read to me all of the nice texts that she got from her friends okay which was basically her just saying my friend said i'm this great and that great and then this and this isn't that sweet isn't that sweet so instead of saying oh i just got a nice text from Susie." Is like, oh Susie sent me a text and mm -hmm. said you are such a wonderful friend and beautiful person yeah. that kind of thing uh-huh I love now, that. She would say that she wasn't doing that to to brag, that she was just basically doing it to talk about how nice her friends are. And she mentioned your text, Ace, and how nice it was, oh. and whatever. And um, but she just kind of um, you know, passed by that. Oh, and then uh, David sent me a sweet message, and then because uh, she didn't say she was beautiful or hot or anything like that, she would have really stopped and focused on that part of it if you would have had that in the text kind of felt that would be yeah. inappropriate well, if you just say hey you're after so all these beautiful. years you're still hot you're so yeah. beautiful <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem right it's like telling uh, your sister something <laughs> i'm mm -hmm. happy to have you in my life <laughs> right. yeah but she was really focusing on those yeah you know and of course i'm i'm joking she, that wasn't her intention but it, people could have thought that um, but if I say anything or make a joke about anything like that, you know what she says? What her comeback is? Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm sorry you don't have any friends. <laughs> oh man, I have That's friends true. and you don't. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's not my fault. I, I That's mean, what she says. Not my fault you don't have any friends. She just goes right to the jugular. <laughs> oh that. yeah, like, it's wow, like Riggins. I just was making a joke. What? You know when you engage Riggins in a back and forth, and, yeah. yeah, he'll just go for the throat. That's the way she is. Well, if we're fighting, sure. Yeah, but. Um, we're just playing around. She said, well, I mean, you're a horrible friend to people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I, just, I do get a lot of those kinds of texts on my birthday. I just don't go around flexing on it. I was going to say, I text you on your birthday. Yeah. So you, I know you get some. Yeah, one. I got everybody else blocked. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. The only reason uh -uh. I'm not blocked is because of business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think we've talked about this. Another way that, um, that women um, subtly brag on themselves is by uh, posting on social media how much their dog loves them. Look, my shadow. Yeah. You know, oh, he loves his mama. He was glad to see his mama come home, you know. Him that's just like saying, look how wonderful I am. The dog loves me so much. Look how much I'm loved by my dog. Now, at this point in the show, what this is called is try to get hate mail. <laughs> 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 I'm just messing with you. You ladies are wonderful. You all look so thin today. Congratulations. <laughs> Riggins and now trending is next. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. 
Yeah, it's a real big deal. Seven hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato companies. When it comes to buying or selling a house, you know, there there are all kinds of people that can help you do that. But not like the Temple team at Keller Williams Realty. They are so much more than just real estate salespeople. Find out by going to acetj.com slash temple team. If it's trending, it's here now. This is Now Trending with Riggins on the Ace and TJ Show. It's National Pet Day. National Pet Day. So hashtag National Pet Day is trending. And everybody's sharing pictures, mostly of their pets, but most of them are, uh, a lot of them are them kissing their pet or hugging their pet. It's not going to be a possibility for me. But I don't think that um, it's all pet day. I think it's just the fat ones. Yeah. <laughs> National fat pet day. Well, heavy, pet day. heavy pet day. Yeah. Plus size pet, I think is the way we call uh, what we call them now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, everybody's sharing pictures of their animals. Uh, will, you, will you be sharing a picture of your dog Riley today, Riggins? Probably not. Probably yeah, that's not. Really, that's mostly all you post on social media anyway, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there something wrong with that, Ace? No, I was just saying you've, you already post a it's lot of pictures. pretty much the only thing you do anyway. No, I'm just saying you already post a lot of pictures of your dog. Because so you're be, obsessed. Yeah, you're so it obsessed. wouldn't be like, you know, it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for you to post one today. Yeah. Or today should be the one that he doesn't. Right. The day he doesn't post one. Because, because he that's posted all he ever does. Right. I didn't why mean you, that. Why are you attacking me? <laughs> <laughs> On National Pet Day. <laughs> My only day. <laughs> Uh, Marvel Studios is trending because there's uh, a new poster out for this upcoming Deadpool movie that's starring Wolverine. Rob, can you provide any insight on that? <clears throat> to, to what now? I'm sorry. Marvel Studios, they they like showed what Deadpool and Wolverine are going to look like in the upcoming oh, yeah. Deadpool movie. So they gave Wolverine the classic uh, look where he's got like a yellow helmet with the, the ears hanging out of it. It looks pretty good. Or not hanging out of it. <laughs> that sounded stupid. But they're like pointing up. <laughs> it looks like a classic outfit. And people yeah. are really excited about that. Like that's the way they want him to look in the movie. Yeah, that's, that's, they've been asking for it for a while. And by oh, they, like, I mean all it's, they. It's very similar to when Hulk Hogan went back to the red and yellow red, after yeah, being right. in the black Hollywood mm -hmm. Hulk Hogan for a while. Yeah. When he went back to the red and yellow, and people went crazy. It's like that. It's like that. So <laughs> it's big deal. Yeah. Okay, he's here. He's wearing his yellow and blue classic right. X Men colors. So people are freaking out over a poster. Yeah, as they should. They're getting excited. Yeah. And they've been asking for it. Who are they yeah, asking? Well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> this is like when uh, the Representative Sheila Jackson Lee the other day said that when they were watching the eclipse. Now, they're going to turn out the lights. They're going to turn the lights. It's, they're going to make it dark. It's like, who is they? Who are you talking about? They. <laughs> they're going to make it dark. So they have been asking for Wolverine since, with his ears hanging out. Yeah, they since have. 2000. Yeah. Okay, very good. Have you sir. asked, Rob, in, I, in some way? Not Publicly, but in my head, I, I've been asking for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. That's, that's what's now trending. This is the Ace and TJ Show. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with calitrin. They say there are only two things certain in life. Sweet deals at sweet dreams and taxes. And only one of those is certain this month. Which one? The sweet deals at sweet dreams. What about the taxes? No sales tax the entire month of April at sweet dreams. Are you serious? Yeah. And don't call me Shirley. Love where you live, Lake Norman, and pay no sales tax during the month of April. Only at Sweet Dreams Furniture and Mattress. Don't just listen to the Ace and TJ show. Watch it now available 24 hours a day on YouTube. Just search for Ace TJ TV. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Have you seen the guy that tried to Thelma and Louise it in Long Island? Yeah. This is a wild story. Um, he's 56 years old. His name is Roger Foster. He lives in the villages in Florida. 
I don't know. Take that for what it's worth. That's a pretty wild place, apparently. But he was in Long Island Monday, got into a high-speed chase with cops. He ended up running over 100 miles an hour back and forth on the highway for about 40 minutes, but there was nowhere to go. So apparently he decided to pull the Thelma and Louise trick from the classic movie from the 90s, where at the end they drove off the cliff, and he just drove off a cliff. Never hit the brakes, never slowed down, was doing approximately 100 when he went through a wooden guardrail, ramped off a bluff, and went airborne. Uh, he landed in the Long Island Sound in about four feet of water. He survived. Uh, officers dove in, pulled him out. He was sore. Didn't have any serious injuries. Looked like the airbags were what saved him. You had they, divers in four feet of water? Like, no, so sitting they, there with the snorkel. <laughs> no, no. Officers dove in. Like, they jumped into yeah, the water. They jumped that. in to get him out of the car. They, the, the article, the way it was written, says dove. But uh, anyway, uh, mm -hmm. he got checked out and went to jail. No word on the cast. It's just a crazy story that he did that. Uh, yesterday... We were talking about the Masters. Riggins and his dad went to the Masters one year. He talked about this one of the greatest things ever. And a member of the radio family sent us a DM that said when she was 15, her dad got tickets to the Masters and wanted her to go. And she said, in hindsight, I was a complete and total brat the whole day because she didn't want to be there, mm -hmm. didn't know anything about the people, hated every minute of it, and then looks back on it now and realizes, man, that was a big deal for him. And my dad tried to share this with me, and I was a jerk all day and just ruined it for him. She was like, "It's I, I feel terrible about it now. Okay, understandable. There, there are moments like that that you do things when you're a kid that you look back now and go, God, that was not the way I should have handled that. But when was there a moment in your life that you can now look back on when you were a kid and go, I was just, I was a little brat right there. I threw this up on our Facebook page yesterday and I, I mean, it's like, they're not funny because you feel bad for the parents, mm. but the sheer stupidity of a couple of these are really <laughs> funny. And they'll even say like, I cannot believe that I did this terrible thing to my parents. I was such a brat. So I, I'm telling you, this is one of those things that you'll just, you'll cringe, but also laugh out loud. Next. Hang this on. is the Ace and TJ show. Our friend, the world famous Richard Takato, I'm sorry, Richard Takato is uh, here with us. And um, thank you so much for reaching out to Richard. We, he's telling us all the time about how many listeners are, are reaching out and saying, hey, show me about that refi and let's do some stuff like that. That's the way you put it, though. Show yeah, me about that refi. Show me about that refi. <laughs> what, what you got about that refi? <laughs> the, uh, so the, I mean, the cool thing is, is, is Ace has said, we have a lot of options and we have, re, you know, I'm doing refinances for people. You know, we have people down in Greenville, North Carolina. We have them you know, all, you know, at the beach at South Carolina. We have them in Charlotte. And the main thing is to refinance, make their finances better, make it, take the stress of every month. You know, if I save them $700 a month, $800 a month, it's a big deal for them. Yeah, it's a real big deal. $700 yeah. a month, that's fantastic. And again, yeah. we've talked about this before. Richard's a broker. That's how he gets more options than a bank. Yeah. He can do more. Just go to homewithrichard.com to get started. Homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. When it comes to losing weight, sometimes you don't even know where to start. You know that it needs to happen, but you need some help. Well, you start by going to acetj.com slash weight loss and ordering Calitrin. Calitrin is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, and it is not a drug. It is not a drug. Repeat that. So here's what you do. You go to acetj.com slash Calitrin. Order three months, and then you'll get three months free. Four months, four months free. That's how it works with Calitrin. Available when you want it, how you want it. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. What did you do when you were a kid that you could look back on now and go, that was, I was really being a brat. I have nothing. I don't, I don't have anything either that I could, TJ, that I can look back on and think, Man, my parents tried to do something nice for me, and I was a jerk with that. No, my parents never tried to do anything nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But they were more of the brats to me than I was to them. I had to raise them. Okay. <laughs> so some, some people have chimed in, and these are funny. Like this one, Christina said, <laughs> skiing in the Swiss Alps with my dad. I just wanted to be with my boyfriend. I was a jerk. Mm. Long story short, her dad apparently took them to the Swiss Alps to ski for a vacation. 
and she uh, was a brat the entire time because she wanted to stay home for vacation and spend the time with her boyfriend because she was a teenager. <laughs> And and she's like, it was, sw- we went to Switzerland and I was mad because I didn't get to stay home with my boyfriend that, you know, <laughs> you lose. White woman? Yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> Skiing to Switzerland, yeah. Um, another one along those lines. Lorna said, my dad was born and raised in Ireland. My sister and I have dual citizenship. He used to take us to Europe in the summer. Um, in high school, everyone in my class had gone to Myrtle Beach for the summer. I visited the Louvre and Frank's attic, the Eiffel Tower, concentration camps, the tulips, the windmills in Holland. I went home and told my mom how deprived we were that we had never been to Myrtle Beach. (laughs) We want to go to Myrtle. She said I was a brat the whole summer because I wanted to go to Myrtle Beach and instead I was in Europe. Yeah. And here's the worst one of all. My heart broke for this dad. (laughs) Crystal said I grew up in Houston. My dad entered my name in a radio contest for two Houston Oilers football tickets at the Astrodome on the field. Houston Oilers used to be the Tennessee Titans. Uh, Titans used to be the Oilers. Yes. She said, I was 16 years old. I won the contest. And naturally, I wanted to take my boyfriend. She took her boyfriend instead of her dad. She said, in hindsight, I realized... I could see the hurt in his eyes when I told him I was taking my boyfriend to the game. That's a sad one. That's a, that's mm, a you're like, yeah. oh man, that feels yeah. terrible. It's okay, baby daddy don't need to go. <laughs> there it is. Oh, yeah, I hope, hope y'all have a good time. I didn't, I didn't want to watch legendary Earl Campbell in person anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ace and TJ show. Hey, it's Ace. And for a long time, we've told you about Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic, and how phenomenal a job they did helping me with my left wrist. Well, this is Neil. Neil Simler is a member of the Ace and TJ Radio family. Neil, you took the free consultation to have them check out your elbow and talk about what happened just when you went for the free consultation. Uh, They were very straightforward and let me know that they weren't going to treat any of my ailments if they weren't 100% sure that they were going to be able to effectively help my issue and uh, never weren't once were they pushy with trying to get me to spend more money and do, you know, the, the higher end shots. Now, three months later, how do you feel? I'm 95% better, if not a hundred percent, you know, it, it's just been one of the best decisions I've made. Do yourself a favor, get out there as soon as possible. Set up your free consultation today at acetj.com slash neogenics. It's N-E-O-G-E-N-I-X. Neogenics, Charlotte's most trusted stem cell clinic. All right, look at us back here again with Richard Takato and uh, the Richard Takato companies. You like that, don't you? Well, yeah. it's it's really Ricardo. <laughs> 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 So uh, we tell you all about uh, Richard all the time about what he can do for you, especially when it comes to this instant equity in your home. Yeah, the instant equity thing is just awesome. You get an offer. I don't have to hard pull your credit. I don't even need your social security number. It's simple. We bake you an offer. You can move. You can if you want to get less or you want to do the terms different. It's so easy. It's all electronic. You can close the same day. Get your money four days later. You know, we have a lot of listeners calling in, taking care of debt that way. We have people adding, you know, backyard barbecues, whatever they need. Now, listen to that. You call in, they set it up, your money's there four days later. It's all done essentially in one day and you're just waiting on the cash. It doesn't get any better or any easier than that. And it all starts by going to homewithrichard.com. That's homewithrichard.com, the Richard Takato Companies. Each weekday on your radio, anytime you want, wherever you get podcasts. This is the Ace and TJ podcast and radio show. Style over substance. Something we've talked about on this show for years that that you have to kind of be aware of. I have a great example of uh, style over substance in my house that I find amusing, and I think I hurt my wife's feelings. Um, Months back, my wife signed up to run three races, two 5Ks. And the third one that they're about to run is a 10K that she's running two weeks from Saturday um, at the beach, uh, Holden Beach, Ocean Isle Beach, something like that. I'm not sure where. Anyway, she's running two 5Ks. <clears throat> now, uh, she's a trainer and works out a lot. 
but she doesn't run a lot in preparation for these things. For example, uh, the other day she was going to run, but it was kind of rainy. It wasn't raining. It was kind of rainy. So she decided yeah. not to run. So it's not like she's out there trying to you know set a record or anything like that. But yesterday I'm standing in the kitchen. She goes, check them out. And she puts on these wraparound sunglasses. And I said, are those mm-hmm. runners shades? She goes, they are. She goes, I'm going to need them because this next race, you know, the sun's always out when we race. I'm like, you hadn't, you haven't run. You ran five miles one day. <laughs> and you were buying wraparound shades to make sure we got runners shades now. Said, are you running more races after this one? Well, I'm sure I will. Yeah. So in other words, you ran two of them without them and did just fine. Now we got to have the wraparound shades because ne- this is a 10K, not a 5K that she's running next. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm like, you're not a runner. But why can't they just be regular sunglasses? Why do they have to be? What is the the design that makes them oh, running? These they literally they're they're to the face. Yeah, and like goggles kind of. Yeah, and they wrap kind of like almost like old school Oakleys. Yeah, and the lenses are. They're multicolored lenses, I guess. Something oh. to do with how the sun hits That's your cool. face or something like that. Oh, they're cool. And they're very effective when you run. If you are a runner, <laughs> not if you're going to run twice, you don't go out and buy wraparound shades, I don't think. She said she's going to plan some more races. Yeah. You yeah. got to have the right I equipment. Said, like, like which ones? Oh. You know, mm-hmm. I think, ironically enough, all the races that she and her friend KK run, they're all at the beach. Cute places. They don't run. Yeah. They don't want to run a five k like here in town through neighborhoods. Like oh, it's all, they're all beach run. Her friend should change her name to Ten KK. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> that's not bad. This is the Ace and TJ Show. Hey, radio family, we've got a new way to win. Ace TJ Prime Rewards. Win great stuff like gift cards, Ace and TJ merch, concert tickets, and exclusive Money Can't Buy experiences. Win it all with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. It's so easy. Download the Ace and TJ family app in your app store or at acetj.com slash app and start winning with Ace TJ Prime Rewards. New winners every week, fun and free. Get the app and play Ace TJ Prime Rewards. We always knew you were a winner. Now it's your chance to prove it. Get the app today.